So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. We have a bonus person. And then these are my notes that I hopefully don't need. So if someone doesn't mind just holding that for me and just point it out, then we'll be good. All right. So are any of you competitive at anything, like aggressively competitive? Yes. Mm-hmm. So much so that you just have to be the best at it? Yes. Well, I was never really good enough at anything to be competitive, so I didn't know what that was like until I realized I was really, really good at eating food. <laughs> so my name's Christian Estrada, and I'm a retired competitive eater. Now, retired's a bit of a stretch because I didn't make a lot of money, and you've probably never heard of me, but I was really good at it. It all started when my friends dared me to do the Big Texan Challenge, which I did, and then I led into doing hot dog eating contests, and then spicy food challenges and a spicy wing challenge that did not go as planned. So the Big Texan Challenge is a steak challenge, 72 ounce steak, loaded baked potato, dinner roll, side salad, and an order of shrimp cocktail. You finish it in one hour and it's free. All you earn is bragging rights, which I earned. And I took that experience and realized I want to keep shoving food in my mouth. So uh, shortly after I did a hot dog eating contest, it was around 4th of July, and uh, there was not that many people entered. They were all significantly larger than me and looked like they had the capacity to eat a significant amount of hot dogs. Uh, I didn't like hot dogs before. I don't like hot dogs after, but I managed to come in second place. So that was a pretty awesome accomplishment. Uh, The confidence I gained from that, I started doing uh, spicy food challenges, which is great. I love spicy food. It doesn't really bother me that much. Uh, Until I did a spicy wing challenge where when my nose was running, my eyes started watering, I rubbed my eyes with the same hands I had just been holding the chicken wings with. So they started to burn, swelled shut, and I had to finish the challenge blind, but I finished, 10 wings. Um, But it was after that that I started to sort of uh, assess what I was doing with my life. Um, Giant steak, mountain of hot dogs, tear-covered chicken. Um, I decided that I was gonna retire because competitive eating should be a young man's game, and I had cholesterol levels to worry about. So what I learned though was that everyone's a little bit competitive when it comes to food. Uh, I feel like you see that kid at a Halloween party bobbing for apples and you think like, I can do way better than that guy. Or you've had your appetizer and your entree and you still order dessert even though you know you can't finish it. And actually talking about it all has kind of made me a little hungry. So if anyone wants to go to an all-you-can-eat buffet, uh, we'll see who can clear the most plates. (laughs) Thank you so much. Yeah.